I'm fishing for black drum today. Uh, hopefully, they're coming through the area. They come through about once a year, so this is my shot to get it. I've got three rods set up, uh, varying weights between six and eight ounce, all on modified high-low rigs. I got uh, green crabs for bait, fish bites, and sand fleas on each one. I'm using hooks from uh, six aught up to eight aught. So the conditions today are a little rough. The undertow is really bad. So normally a four ounce weight is pretty common out here, but I've got uh, sixes and eights. So hopefully we'll get one today and see what happens. For those of you new to my channel, my name's Jay. And I fish a uh, majority in this area. Uh, I love fishing on Assateague. Those waves are big. Um, I fish the back bays, offshore, uh, in my kayak, kind of do everything. So uh, today is a perfect day for this. The rain's all gone and I couldn't ask for better weather. It's like 60 degrees out here. So for today, I'm fishing the incoming and then the outgoing tide. Uh, the reason Ooh. The reason I picked this spot is because of all the, the sections of uh, waves. It's a lot of structure, a lot of sandbars. Now that, nope, it's just the weight getting tossed around. You can feel it bouncing. It's a six ounce weight on this one. This one's doing something funny. No, it's just getting tossed around. That rip current is no joke today. That's crazy. We've had some pretty bad storms come through, so kind of not really surprised, but I mean, that's, yeah, it's pretty bad. Like I was saying earlier, it's normal to use a four ounce weight here. That's like the average, everybody uses a four. Um, these are sixes and then the one on the end I have to put back is an eight. And they're still getting bounced around pretty good. This one just smacked hard. I don't know if he's still on it. That thing was down, down. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Got a good one. Got a real nice one. Peeling drag too. Some of these fish get pretty big. Uh, 10, 20, 30, 60 pounds too. Oh yeah, he's taking drag. Come on, baby. This is a big one, big, big one. going to be here for a bit. Man, is he taking drag. I'm using a 50 pound line and 50 pound leader too. Whew. Try to walk them back. It's a big one.
monster, man. Monster. Look at the size of this guy. Woohoo! Let me try to get him out of the water. Get a measurement on him real quick, and then get a get a release. Uh, just about 30 inches. Is what he's at. Let's get him back in the water. He's trying to swim, he's just going the wrong way. Huh. Go this way. There he goes. Oh man. What a fight. Yeah, he's gone. I'll tell you what, that was a big fish. <laughs> wow. What a fish. Get some Gatorade in me and then cast them back out I had to reel them in my arms are dead so um, I reeled them in they're gonna sit here for a minute I'm gonna rebait them and send them back out I'll show you the rig I was using too just so you can see it and the hook sizes too all right back at it so here's the rig I'm using it's just a high low rig with a six ounce weight he bit the top hook which is the eight dot circle hook. I got eights on that one. Uh, and I think the middle one, the far ones, I got uh, sixes. What I used for bait was green crabs, fresh green crabs. I cut them in half, put half up top, half down below. And then I uh, take little piece of fish bites and hold it in there. And that's what he ate. That's the setup. Um, I tried to tip it with sand fleas, green crab sand fleas, and then the fish bites. The sand fleas just came right off. The green crabs stayed on really well until the very end. And then the fish bites are obviously, they're still there. So uh, it was a little trick that I learned watching people in Virginia. They kind of do this method too. Uh, for down here, a lot of people stick to just clams or, or just one bait. Um, I, I just give them the, the, the old seafood buffet and see what they'll see what they like. So I'm going to bait the same thing up and then cast it back out. So what's really screwing me up now is see these big waves, how they're coming in towards me and it just rolls the whole way. It's hard to try to get the line on the other side of those waves and have it hold still.
try to cast it just as far as I can get it. So we're coming up on high tide right now. You can see how far it's moved up on the water line right here. I'm having problems with it because of the waves and how they're just kind of rolling so quick to the beach. I mean, that eight ounces, it's not even holding. And the little six is just getting thrashed. The line's not even tight anymore, so. I think that might be it for me. That was a heck of a fish though. I mean, catching one is really good. I was hoping for two, at least two. Yeah, this line's pretty, uh, pretty limp. So that's it for me. I'm out of here. It's too, too rough for me to, to keep going, but I'll take it. I mean, that one was, <laughs> it was a big fish. So happy I came out. Uh, it's, it's like I said, it's my favorite place out here. I really do like it. Uh, we do all like the lodge visits, uh, the abandoned lodges from the government when the government took over. We do like beach cleanups and beach combing and fishing and come out here in the, in the summertime too. So I'm out here all the time. Uh, some people have commented and asked about driving out here. You do have to have two two separate passes one of them is the osv pass the oversand vehicle to drive out here and the other one is the basic park pass all to the federal parks um, once you pay for those the osv pass is, is a yearly pass so uh, it's one year from the the date that you get it the regular park pass they have it i think it day week and yearly too uh, veterans if you're a vet like me uh, you get in for free so take advantage of that uh, but you do have to pay for the osv um, when i come out here i deflate my tires down to between 20 and 22 psi i don't really go below 20 uh, unless i screw up and it accidentally does it but normally i stay around 20 to 22 so and it holds up just fine but anyway i'm gonna get out of here start packing up all my my junk uh i really really appreciate you watching um and i'll see you I'll see you on the next time and hopefully we'll try to get some more of these. All right, see ya.